Hi, I'm Kate Romain. This is E Squared, and we're super excited about this weekend's dinner with the Union Project. And I just wanted to introduce you guys to a couple of the menu items that are going to be on this weekend. Um, we're definitely going to showcase a antipasta platter, and there's some specific Italian cheeses on there that I wanted to cover because they're kind of unfamiliar sometimes. Um, the first one is Brenta. It is. It comes from uh, obviously it comes from Italy. It is near the river of, it is in the town of Brenta is where it's made. That's a cow's milk cheese. It's pretty, it's similar to like a manchego in texture where it's like a semi-hard but not too dry. Um, the other one is bruschera. It is also a cow's milk cheese and it's more of a semi-hard, it's a little on the softer side, so something like an Asiago. Um, and it's delicious and a little more tart. Um, the other one is bradoro. It's definitely of all of them, the driest of the cheeses that we're going to feature, um, and it's probably my favorite. Um, all of them are pretty mild, nothing is going to blow your mind and, and make you go screaming away. Nothing is too stinky cheese, uh, but they're just a nice Italian cheese that's going to go great with some you know, roasted vegetables and things like that that we're also going to feature. Um, the other thing that's on there is a beet carpaccio, and I don't know if anybody's familiar with carpaccio, but carpaccio is in a traditionally made with beef, where it's pounded out or sliced very thin and served as a starter dish. So it'll cover, basically, you'll pound out like tenderloin and it'll cover the bottom of your plate. And then on top, you might do like some lemon or arugula. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it with beets, and we're going to top it with some fresh thyme, some apples, some pears, arugula as well, some lemon juice, and some balsamic reduction. It's pretty delicious. And it's vegetarian, it's great. Um, the other thing, oh, it's also going to have a couple of toasted pecans on there. Um, the other thing moving on to the main course is uh, one of the dishes we're going to have is a capoletti. And capoletti is a, it's a, it's a basically a mini tortellini. And it, they're super yummy. They're some porcini mushrooms. Delish. Um, and then the other thing we're going to have is a polenta with stuffed with taleggio. And taleggio is a pretty unique, it's definitely super Italian cheese, it is, it's made with calf's milk, so it's a cow's milk cheese, um, and it's definitely, if you've ever have heard, it's stinky cheese, it has a very strong smell, but it's a very mild flavor, like it does not smell the way it tastes. Um, I mean, um, it does not, yeah, same. Uh, what it does, it is like, it's mild and creamy like a brie, and so it melts really nicely into the blood, that's going to be super creamy, and yummy, and delicious. And yeah, and so the rest is going to be awesome. I can't wait. The sausage and shrimp dish, it's going to start it off as one of my faves. So we look forward to it and see you this weekend.